my name is Jason McCush. I come from Lynn, Massachusetts, a town close to the North Shore. Uh, there, I have many. I wear many hats in my day-to-day uh, life. I'm a teacher by trade, a high school English teacher, and deal with lots of uh, kids uh, at the school where I work at. I'm also a football coach, an advisor to uh, many programs, and a mentor to a lot of kids. Um, one of the other hats I do wear is I'm the uh, current pastor of the Swamp Scott Church of Spiritualism, where I serve as Reverend Jason McCush there uh, during that time. Uh, in my um, job there, I get to work with a lot of amazing and wonderful human beings. And um, I try, sometimes they think that I guide them on their spiritual path, but ultimately they're really guiding me on my own. Uh, at the church, I'm lucky and fortunate enough to uh, teach a number of classes and work with a lot of great people and teaching them about mediumship and healing and meditation and all the sort of different modalities that revolve around our beautiful religion of spiritualism that I've come to grow and love. I've been uh, the current uh, pastor of the church. I just had my five-year anniversary as an ordained minister there. Yay! Um, uh, So exciting. But I've been the actual pastor there uh, serving um, for probably about seven years. Before that, I served as the president, the vice president, and ran kind of the board for a long time. Um, so I've, I've worn many hats at the church as well. It's a place I love. It's my second home, a place that really calls to my heart. I ended up there many years ago when Spirit kind of gave the ring. Um, some people talk about they end up at the church because they wanted to be there. I kind of ended up there uh, when Spirit kind of beckoned me. I was seeing Spirit. And I ended up in this Swamp Scott Church uh, looking for answers and asking questions. And uh, there I was fortunate enough to get a lot of answers. Um, and since then, I um, haven't left. And it's a place that really is near and dear to my heart. And I'm looking forward to coming to join uh, the Spiritualist Camp up there at Aetna. Uh, it's a place that I served once before. And I'm really excited and looking forward to coming in. Um, delving into the rich history of the camp and being sort of a, a speaker and a, luckily enough being called a teacher and a speaker there. But really, I'm looking forward to uh, connecting with the people who understand the rich history of our religion. So I'm a teacher by trade. Uh, I teach lots of kids every day uh, and I really, truly enjoy teaching. Um, but when I first walked into spiritualism, um, I was a student. And after many years of like working with some amazing teachers who helped guide me through the process of like understanding uh, my talents and my gifts, uh, I was fortunate enough to be given a role. You know, once I became a certified medium and uh, worked through the educational program at our church, I was afforded the opportunity to become a teacher. Um, And so I just love everything about teaching and uh, to be able to share this gift with like uh, other promising students and people who are like working toward like understanding um, mediumship or healing or their spiritual path has been pretty exciting. I think for us, like at our church, especially and for me as a as a as a pastor, we try to like really make sure that people understand the importance of like integrity and um, caring about those who we get to like sit with and meet with and understand the whole process because grief is a challenging thing. And so I guess for me, um, all the pieces of my life sort of led to um, teaching uh, in spiritualism because uh, whether it was counseling classes or learning things in my uh, educational background, but also at the church, like meeting real people who have like real life problems. And uh, we're fortunate, I think, in spiritualism that we do have this ability to uh, bring everyone together, uh, not only living, but also those in the spirit world um, to to connect them and help them through the process. And so I think for me, that's been like what really brought me to teaching in, in spiritualism is is the ability to bring everyone together, both, you know, sometimes living in in spirit and and allowing um, a smooth transition for those in the spirit side of life. But also, most importantly, I think, is the people who are here um, still grieving and and attempting to understand what's happening 
and then moving on. And when I say moving on, I mean stepping onto their spiritual path. Uh, and so for us and for me and for our religion, I think that's what we're focused on um, is how do we how do we find a way to kind of bridge living and, and and death and help us all move on to be better human beings and you know and how do we even like take that and still be good people in the process and i think that's really what i've loved about um teaching is that we're able to kind of find ways to like help people navigate that path as they kind of figure out who they are and what they want and uh, find closure and find new beginnings. And so it's a really beautiful process. And so I think for me, that's really what it's been. It's been an opportunity to like really hone in on the soul and who, of the essence of who I am and to be able to um, help other people unlock that same essence in the process. I mean, working with people is my favorite thing about life in general. I think that people naturally are good people and they have hearts of gold and like connecting with other human beings is all about like making uh, myself or uh, themselves a little bit better. And so I feel like there's a little bit in everybody that uh, is in us. And so finding a way to like talk to other people and to find that part of myself that makes me a better human being is what I really and truly enjoy about connecting with other human beings. Um, ultimately, I think working with people is, is a blessing that we're all given and we have to find a way to like unlock the best parts of all of us. And so connecting with other people and being around other people really is what called me to the ministry, I think, ultimately, because um, finding the good in others helps me find the good in me. And so isn't that what we're all here for?